Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations coming at you today with some DIY planner clips and upscaling those magnet bookmarks that I had in my haul earlier. Now I'm showing some of these really pretty um, paper clips. These rose gold ones were from Michaels. They do have like a cover over that um, paper clip itself. The gold ones are just pure gold. Um, and those black ones, as you can see, that's just kind of covered over. Now you can get these pastel ones from the Dollar Tree. Um, these are old ones that I got from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. I wish they still had them. I absolutely love this little black disc. You can pull off that little resin piece and pop any image onto that. And it just gives it some really good stability. These play paper clips are from the dollar bins at Michael's, and they're ne normally $2, but they've been on sale for a dollar here in the past couple weeks. And these are like really thick, um, like a cardstock cardboard piece. And then I, what I love about them is that piece on the back that um, is holding it onto there. So you could actually rip off the picture if you really want to. And I did do that with a couple of them. Um, and then you can also just glue right down onto that image if you wanted to add something else to it. Now all these are really cute um, to really um, recover and so I don't know if I can do those. But as you can see the succulent ones were a silver paper clip and the little flamingos and the bird are gold paper clips. Now, I really love this succulent, so I'm like, how can I make this look even better, make it more sturdy, um, so that it won't bend or break? And I think, well, I'll add glossy accents to the image itself. And glossy accents takes a little while to dry, but you can go over it um, and add the glossy accents to the top, and it really doesn't take that long to dry, maybe just overnight. Um, I take a little toothpick and try to pop the little bubbles as well. and kind of as I'm waiting to, for that to dry I decided to pull out this Sophie and Toffee UV resin that I have now Lisa Pavelka has some as well that's a UV resin it either cures in sunlight or you can use a little torch which is just a um, flashlight that um, has UV light to it and I bought this off of Amazon and it will cure the resin. So basically you also need that um, a lighter or even a straw to get the bubbles out. So I just spread that along the top of it and I kind of try to make sure I get to the sides. Um, the UV resin does kind of pull up along the sides um, but I go along and I just barely wave over the flame to pop all the bubbles and you can kind of see they're all gone. And now I'm just going to rub, run this light over top of it to cure the resin. And it really does not take that long for the resin to cure, um, but it does recommend um, three to five minutes over top of that. And you can see that it gives that that really pretty shine. Now, of course, it does bow up a little, um, but it did that with the glossy accents as well, as I'll show you later. Now, a couple other things I did was I used this 22 gauge wire. This is superior wire shaping um, wire. You can get it at any of the craft stores. Um, AC Moore is where I got this one. Uh, the bead line, I've had this for a while, so I'm not exactly sure where I got this one, but it's just really pretty. It's got like a little decorative piece to it. And then this gold is actually a 20 gauge. I recommend using above a 20. So as you go higher in the gauges for wire, the smaller the wire is. And so I suggest at least 22 and above. Um, it just makes it easier for wrapping around um, your tool and then even putting it into place onto the paper clip. So this one's too big, but this is really pliable wire. It's really nice. I've used it in my fairy gardens um, to make some cute things, but I wanted to show you the difference in the sizes. So this is a 20 gauge, and then the next one, one next to it is a 24 gauge. And you can see um, the difference in that size. 
And so I'm going to take a pair of my um, jewelry pliers that's made just for wire wrapping. And you just slowly take it right along through there. And this, like I say, the wire is really soft. You don't want the hole to be too big, but of course, if it's too small, um, if you have a coating on that, then it won't go past it. So you have to kind of find that area of the wire wrap um, tool that you can figure out how big it is that you can make that hole without it being too big but not too small. And that's going to kind of just take a little bit of practice. The first one I did was too small. Um, I couldn't even feed it through the, the um, paper clip. But then the ones, um, the paper clips that don't have the coating on them, you can actually make them smaller. And then later on, I do a little bit different um, thing with the wire, and I'll show you that as well. So these are flat nose pliers, but one's a little bit wider um, nose, and one's a smaller one. Uh, the wider one is the one I use to kind of crimp this wire into place. And I put it on each side of this paper clip, and that way when I add my jump ring in the center of that area, then it will stay in place. And that's one of the um, things with the paper clip charms, like if you added something to dangle from it, like a little gem, you know, you have the risk of it being able to fall off. So I trim the um, as close as I can to the edge of that wire so it won't have a little um, sharp place, you know, so if you run your fingers across of it, across it, you won't get that little piece and then I take a jump ring and I'm going to open this up and you want to pull open this way. You don't want to pull it apart. You want to slide it open. And then we're going to just attach that to this really cute um, resin charm. And then we're going to attach it to the paper clip. Now, embarrassingly enough, this is backwards and I had to redo this paper clip. You'll see that at the end. But that is not the end you want it on when, when you're going to put it in your planner. Because you want it to stick out of your planner, not be on the inside and, and cause a lot of bulk. And it's cuter when it's outside and dangly. So this is just one of the pieces that I punched um, when I did the other little um, stacked embellishments. And these are planner accessory stickers. There were three sheets in here. And I love these. Um, they just kind of add a little something to it. And with that little um, background uh, unicorn there, you can add the little stickers. I even did one where, where I used that plan, plan, plan. And, you know, when you have that little scene in the background, it, I think it just looks so cute. But I'm going to just add the glossy accents to this image. I bought a couple sets of these, so... Um, I'm not too particular on, you know, just trying to use some of them up and, and make a few just different ones. And I'm just going to attach this to that and let that dry. But I use just the glossy accents that provides a really strong hold, even if you don't use it on the top of something, you know, to get that glass effect. Um, it does provide a really nice stronghold, and I did end up using the um, the clear resin on top of this as well. But I thought that came out really cute. Um, you can kind of see where the stickers are and everything, but I don't know. I still like that. But I love unicorns. All right, so now I got these on clearance. I think I only paid like a quarter or 50 cents for all of these. Um, they're really made for charms for your cell phone. But if you're like me, I have the iPhone now, so there's no place to um, really attach these to your cell phone anymore. So I'm going to actually attach it to the paper clip. So I go in and pull that through to make that loop. And then I actually go back in and loop it again to give it um, more of a knot there and to make this shorter because I don't want it too long. And there is one that I actually put through that loop two or three times um, just to make it shorter because you like the dangle part, but I didn't want it to be too dangly. 
I think these will be great on traveler's notebooks as well. So if you want to add the charm to that outside edge, um, it'll look really cute with that too. So this is a charm that I've had for a while. Um, it's just a really pretty um, yellow golden butterfly. And I'm just going to add it to this and let it dangle from that paper clip. And this is one of those pastel ones and some of those pastel clips went really well with some of these um, little cordings but I like that and it adds just a little something to it and I make a couple more of these and I just love some of them so some of them have a gold um, tip to them and some have silver and I tried to be mindful of that when I added my charms but I just go through and I add a few little beads and dangles that I had um, I've made a couple other videos where I did some shaker charms and I have some of the charms from that um, and of course I make jewelry all the time so I have um, a lot of things in my arsenal so this isn't something that you would have to do but you know if you saw um, Hobby Lobby typically has some really good clearance sales on some of these little charms if you even picked up some of these little jump rings when they have them half off you know it wouldn't cost um, a great deal in order to make some of these cute little charms and I highly encourage you to go right now because some of their tools are even marked on clearance. I got a couple, um, or about three different tools for like $1.74 within the last week now. So I add three jump rings to this one because I want to give it some length. Because I want my little moon to hang lower than the little tag. Just to give it some length, as I said. And I hang the little moon from that and I think this looks so cute this is one of my very favorite ones of course I love Sun moon and stars anything but I'm gonna show you kind of what this looks like when it's all said and done how that hangs and I even end um, end up hanging a little something else to this at the very end and I'll show you that too it's just a little tassel And so these are some of the resin pieces that I made. Um, I started doing some cups and every now and again you'll have leftover resin and I'll just add glitter to it and then pour it into a mold so that I can just um, use up the resin, not let it go bad. It does harden. Um, if you use parts A and B, it will harden if you don't use it all. Um, the UV resin, you know, you have to cure it. But I just went ahead and made some of these. And of course I made some of these really cute mermaid tails. I've got some really cute um, unicorns. If you pull the resin out of the mold about halfway through its curing time, you can add like the um, O-ring to it. But some of these, I just added the bail to it and I used super glue. And so this one I added a couple jump rings so that it would hang properly and there's the little gold bale and then that cute little mermaid tail hanging down so I didn't do anything with this tag but I wanted to show you how to make a hidden paper clip I kind of just set this one aside because I don't know what sticker to add to it or saying or anything just yet but basically you punch a hole in the top and then you're going to put your paper clip down. You want the longer side to be on the outside of the paper clip. Now, I still mess this up every now and again, so let me say it again cuz I forget. The longer side of the paper clip is the one you want on the outside. So this is going to be on the inside, and then we're going to just sandwich that together. And basically you have kind of like a little hidden paper clip that's in there and it gives it a little bit of stability to even um, stay in there and you know because it's not to the back you know if you don't have the little piece on the back to kind of hold it into place then you can do it this way now you can also use pop dot stickers and just put you know another piece of cardstock over top of that and let it hang down too and I've done several like that in the past as well 
I would have even done a few more, but I noticed that this um, video was long enough as it was. Now for that one, I just went ahead and used super glue because I wanted to go ahead and hold that together. Some things you can even use the hot glue for, but I found that I couldn't put these together fast enough before my glue gun um, started to already dry. Like I say, I haven't done anything with this one just yet, but it's so pretty. It might even just be pretty enough on its own that, you know, maybe I won't even add anything to it. All right, so here are the planner basic magnetic bookmarks that I got on clearance for a dollar. Um, these were from Michaels, and I didn't really particularly like the decoration that's on them, and so I wanted to upscale them. Now, I even tried to make some of these on my own, and I'll show you what I tried to use, and it did not work, um, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to see what else I can do, but these just pull apart, and you sandwich them in between a page and your planner. This is some paper that's from Hobby Lobby. I'll link the paper pad down below if I don't forget um, of what it came from, but it's really pretty paper. And I decided that I really like that wood look. And there's some other sayings on the back and I decide I don't want to go through all of those in case I would like to use them. So I pick out the one that's my least favorite on that side <laughs> so that I can trace around these images. And then I'm just going to cut them out with my scissors. Like I said, just the images on them weren't my favorite, but for a dollar for three of them, I thought, well, I can use any kind of scrapbooking paper to make them even cuter. So I just take a pen and I just go right around it and trace out the image. And then I'm going to cut them out and recover them. And I totally love how these end up coming out. Um, these little paper shears that I have are from Fiskars and they have a mechanism in them where it's really easy on your hands. So if you have arthritis like I do in my hands, they're really nice, especially if you're gonna cut a lot. <laughs> the other day when I punched out those 10 million punches to make stacked embellishments, oh my gosh, my hands hurt afterwards. So I feel for you if you, if, uh, you have a, a lot of arthritis in your hands. Mine's still minimal right now, but it gets to me. So I just cover these again with the glossy accents. And I'm just gonna add that to each of those bookmarks. And I ended up using a little um, alcohol pad and that took off that uh, paper that stuck to the inside of those magnets. And I try to do like a little finish layer on these to add them. And then on that other one, I did decide to use um, another piece of paper out of that same, same stack that had some really pretty purple flowers on it. And I just love that. So I feel like I can see the sides there and I try to kind of push over before that glue dries to kind of hide that edge. And I may still end up going back like with a silver paint pen um, and adding to that edge just to see if that'll kind of help hide that because it looks like I just cut it too close. Now these are some really cute butterfly stickers. They have these at the Dollar Tree again this year. They're a little bit different colors, but they're exactly the same. They have that little 3D look. So, you know, when you open your planner, they'll kind of pop off the uh, page a little, but then when you close it, you know, they'll go flat. So I pick out one of the really cute little purple ones and I'm going to add it to one of these little bookmarks. And I actually end up using two of them. I use one of the blue ones and one of the purple ones. And it just really adds something to it without, you know, too much. Now these adhesive magnetic sheets I got at Walmart. They are made in the USA. They were $1.97 for two sheets. And of course it says create your own magnets. Um, and you can peel off the adhesive and stick anything to it. So I thought oh, this would be cool. Let me try to make some of these little magnets myself. 
And I was super pleased in finding out that the paper punches punched right through this thin magnet. Like it worked out really well and I was like super excited. So, you know, I punch them out and I hold them together and they have a semi-decent hold. But then when you go to try to sandwich them in between just one sheet of paper, it did not hold at all. So I'm, I probably will still end up using this, of course, because they still will, um, of course, go on to a refrigerator or anything like that. But as you can see, they punch right through. Um, they do so well. I was really hoping that that was going to work. But if you have any other suggestions of magnets, I, I would doubt that anything that you could punch through that will hold or anything that will hold really well, I won't be able to use a punch in. But be looking for another um, video in the future, maybe of decorating some magnets with those. So here is another one that I recovered with um, one of those other papers again. I just think it's so beautiful. The little purple flowers are so nice. And of course the word violet just happened to come out just right on there. And I did reinforce that center um, with another piece of paper. The other two I haven't done that with yet, um, but I did go ahead and add a little piece of ribbon to one of those. And I will show that at the end. And these are a little bit hard to get apart because the magnets do stick really well on them, but that's what makes them really functional and stay in place and you don't have to worry about losing them. Those others, they wouldn't stick at all. <laughs> So, and there's a look at those. Now this was one other thing that I wanted to show you I did. I used some UV resin on this piece. It really distorted the image. Like it wouldn't, um, it's low in some places and high in another. So make sure you maybe build up your piece and do you use that UV resin before you even attach it to the paper clip. So I'm just showing you some of the different ones that I made, that cute little unicorn. I just used one of the little um, pieces that I pulled off the bird and glued it to it. These are, this is the glossy accent one, which looks like it has some layering to it almost. It, it almost looks like you can see the leaves look like they have some depth to them with that glossy accent. So I do like the glossy accents one. It's not as bowed once that it dried. And then this one has um, the resin on it. And it's a little bowed, but once you put it in the planner, you can't tell. And then this little um, image, I just used from where I punched out all those images and just added it to a paper clip. This is a bead that you can hang from a necklace. And I just added some charms to it. And then I did one with these little um, mermaid tails. And I'm gonna show you how I ended up doing some of these in the end. I ended up taking those loops and I took one loop and I pulled it apart. And I probably should have pulled apart on it a little bit more before I actually stuck it on this paper clip. But I just kind of pull it apart across the top width of it and then I'll clamp it down on each side so it doesn't move. And then I just add that um, charm right in the center of that. And then I still don't have to worry about that falling off my paper clip or going, you know, in the wrong place or, you know, the fact that it will just have the stability to set in that one area. And that was just one other way that I kept those charms in place. And you can tell by me, um, squeezing that little thing pretty hard that it uh, left a little image into my, my finger there when I squeezed it. And I'm kind of just showing this in slower motion so that you can see. But once I clamp it, that doesn't even move. And then I kind of run my finger across it just to make sure that I don't have a little sharp edge there that you could catch it on. And then here's one that I made with some of the punch cutouts that I had from the stacked embellishments. This is always be a unicorn. I happened to put that one in backwards, as you can see. I should have put the longer piece on the outside. 
and then I've got some of the little pop dots in between there. And then this is just a little resin dot and I added it to one of those Dollar Tree paper clips. It has a lot of shine to it. That's some Martha Stewart um, glitter that Michaels had. And here's another one of my mermaid tails. I just love that pink color. That's one of the Martha Stewart glitters as well. And then the this is a charm that is a Tim Holtz charm and I added the charms to the end of it and then glued it to one of the Dollar Tree paper clips but it says live for the moments you cannot put into words and I thought that was really super cute for like you know adding this to a traveler's notebook where you can journal or do bullet journaling or you know anything um, memory keeping um, I thought that was really cute so here it is, I flipped it around the right way. That's my little pretty um, ombre unicorn. And then these are some little ball stickers. They're by Seven Gypsies um, from Michaels. And I just took one of those and added it to one of the punched pieces and made a hidden paper clip um, with it too. Um, but it's just on the paper and I made a front and back to it as well. And here it is. And so it looks like just a little tag, but it has that little hidden paper clip in the back. And you can add that to a planner page really easily. Here was one that I just made with one of the tassels and one of the cute little um, filled balls. Um, and I put some really pretty glitter inside of that one. And then this says, live the life you've imagined. And I've got one of the little glitter balls hanging from that as well. And this says, God bless America. This is one of the little charms that um, Michael sells. I wanna say they're typically $1.99 a piece, but if you watch for their sales, they usually at least put them a half off. They might be $2.99, but. And this is the one that I just um, used the glossy accents to glue it to that side. Um, but you could remove that image if you really wanted to. This is a little um, Sophie and Toffee charm that I had that I add, added some resin to and some little glitter pieces. And it's just a really cute little wand. And of course I put the wire on the side and added it as a little charm. This one is from Sophie and Toffee as well. It's a key. And I added resin to that one and I um, added glitter inside of it. And then here's the one at that little um, charm says dream and then I added a purple tassel to it. And I thought that came out really cute. I really love that one. And then a couple of these others, um, I just hung some charms from them. This one's got a bead and a tassel and a jewel hanging from it and it says believe. And then this other one was the butterfly. And I just added a simple little circle to the back of it. So that way if it flips around, um, you see something on either side. Now this one, I just wasn't happy with the fact that you could see the pop dots. So I braided a piece of twine and then added it around the edge. And then I decided to take these small talk stickers that I used on my stacked embellishments and add a saying to it. And since it was crosses, I tried to look for something kind of um, faith inspired um, for that one. Um, they're white and black, but they're the same three pages are in white as, as they are in the black. So all the sayings in there are the same between those two colors. But this said, live simply, give generously. And I thought that was just a really good saying for... Um, just that type of bookmark. So um, this ended up being a little bit longer than I anticipated. Um, so I didn't do any other like uh, techniques or anything. I'll do more of these in the future if you're interested in those. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I like to share little tips and tricks along the way, although that I don't 
know of too many things I added except for maybe to keep stationary charms you know if you use them and to look for paper clips you know that you can add something to them you know you can pull that image off especially if they're on clearance but like I say if you like these type of videos um, give me a thumbs up that definitely lets me know to continue um, doing ones like these um, I had over over an hour and a half worth of footage on this and I tried to skinny it down into 30 minutes. There's the little mold that I used for those mermaid tails and like I say I just used my extra resin and filled those up. So that's how those came out. But anyways thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Take care and I hope you get a chance to craft it up. Oh, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you um, part of the Crafting It Up family. And if you hit the bell um, next to it after you subscribe, that'll notify you each and every time I upload a video. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye.